Hello folks, Jason Cressman, Grazing Acres Farm. Sitting here with the herd, which I just come to check on this morning. Got my girl Casey here with her newborn she had yesterday. Well, two days ago. Just moved the cows into this pasture yesterday. Got some wonderful fescue growing in here. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, Millie. That's beautiful. Beautiful stuff. And, uh... We've only got, I think, two more, three more calves. This girl here needs the calf, which I was looking at her yesterday. She's starting to bag up a little bit. She's absolutely filthy. She's been laying in a mud hole. But she's starting to get a little springy on the back end. It's hard to tell whether, to, there you go. She's starting to get a little springy. She looks super thick too, so I'm gonna say here with the next week and a half or so, this one will calve. And then I've got two of mine that won't calve until uh, December 22nd, or was it December 12th? Something like that. Look at this calf. This is a bull calf from May. I am just super impressed with his thickness already but uh this girl here first time heifer of mine and she is the the daughter of red All right here this is red and red red will be calving about the same time in december won't you red so we got those two left of mine the calf and the one up there about a week ago, we swapped out our bulls and we got us a new uh, PCC bull. Right here he is. Super good looking bull. Now, I know if you follow Greg Judy, he talks about these lines on, on cattle. But I can't for the life of me remember what those lines are called. So if you've got any insight that you could leave um, down in the comments, it'd be much appreciated. So we got a bunch of little calves running around. This girl here must be coming in heat today. Is that the case, bud? Her girl must be down in there hiding. She's complaining. Or calling for rain. Funny, you show up to check the cows on the morning they're calling for rain and everybody's laying down. Where's your baby? I see your baby. Or your baby's over there hiding. Right there, mama. First time she's had a heifer. He's over here, mama. He's looking. Watch. Your mama looking for you. <laughs> this one here just calved, uh, I don't know, five days ago. Right there is its calf. So, I'm glad that calving season is winding down. There's a few in here this year that I just didn't get tagged because we've had a, a few different occurrences this summer where we had rain for days on end. And during that heavy rain, I just, I chose not to come out in it and get soaked. So I stayed home. The next morning you show up and here's a calf running around. I already got a couple days age on you. Think you never catch him. Boy, he's just impressive looking, isn't he? He was after her yesterday. So what I do when I see the bull following a cow is I'll I'll make a note um, of the date that way we know about when we should be expecting a calf this is a steer of mine from last year <clears throat> kind of looks a little sway back the way he's standing 
Who are you, girl? Who are you? This deer here of mine is her calf last year. So he's a year old. He looks pretty good. I've debated on selling him. Um, not sure yet. Hey, we just come up, check the cows. Thought I'd do a little update. Just moved them to this pasture yesterday. How are you doing, mama? Here's one of the calves I didn't get tagged. Of course, there was a few that it didn't really bother me not to tag. Like that little white-faced calf I just showed you and chased a mom. It's pretty identifiable of, of whose calf that one is. Let's get back over here and I'll show you what I mean. Right there she is. It's pretty obvious to me that that calf belongs to cow 1602. This one here, that one belongs to 49. I know that because that's the first one that I didn't get tagged that's all black. Now there was this little baldy looking one over here. It was actually the very first one I didn't tag. Just because it's a baldy, it's pretty obvious who its mom is. And that's 24 right there. I actually, once the calf was born, I remembered last year, the Hereford bull had jumped the fence and got in with the cows. He was in there from the evening to the next morning one day. And uh, he was all over 24 during that time. So <laughs> I know where the white-headed calf come from. Hereford next door. Everybody looks real good. You're doing real well. The low line, her calf. That calf there is mine. It's from her. 33. I call her Little D. Little D. I haven't had any problems out of the bull. He, he seems to be super, super docile. Now, the day after we got him, I pulled into the pasture to come check the cows, and he come walking straight towards me, sitting on the four-wheeler, walked right up to the front, and, you know, he's a bull. I don't know anything about him, so as he's approaching the front, I'm climbing off over the back. <laughs> and he just sniffed, rubbed on the poly stakes a little bit, then moseyed on. He was just curious. Nothing threatening. There's not even any apples up here for you girls in the tree. You ate them all. Anyway, folks, just wanted to do a little update. Show you how things are sitting at the moment. Um, trying to stock up on a little bit of grass. And you can see we've got a decent amount of grass here in this pasture. And I hope to move the cows out of here. Tomorrow, well, it won't be tomorrow because of the rain. Probably be Saturday morning, Saturday midday. It is Thursday, so. That's where things sit, folks. Have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Calving season 2021 is almost over. Three more. Three more to go. Right? This one here I thought was mine. Wait, this one might be mine. I don't know, I get this one. No, she just, this calf here was born on the same day as that one over there with the orange tag. And I found that one early in the morning. But when I come back up later to tag it, I found this one and tagged it thinking it was mine. That wasn't the case. So that one's not really mine. This one is. Little heifer calf from Millie. Red cow there. 
He's like, oh, you're a cutie. Say, yeah, I'm gonna be a keeper. I'm gonna make a nice replacement for you. Steer from little D, one I just showed you. He's been coming, coming around. Come on, smell my hand. Thanks, smelling your hand. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Crazy Nickers Farm.